What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Vlogmas workout. Today we are doing yet another 10 minute core workout and we're just gonna be working through the series of five two times through. And if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and jump in just starting with a couple of deep breaths to set the mood. So come into a comfortable seated position, whether that's cross-legged or legs out in front of you, take your hands right to the tops of your legs and we'll take a nice big inhale. Fill the belly and the chest up with air. Let the shoulders just float up a little bit towards the ears and then take a big exhale, drop the shoulders down and back, let it go. Three more like that. Now thinking about breathing into the rib cage, letting air move from side to side, front to back. Exhale, let it all go. Two more like that, nice big inhale. And we'll exhale, take it all down and back, let it go. Last one, big inhale. We'll exhale, take things down and back, let it all go. Good. From here, we're going to go ahead and jump right into things. So come all the way down onto your mat. Um, if you haven't done this series of five before, we're doing single leg stretch, double leg stretch. We're doing hamstring pull, double leg lower and lift and crisscross two times through. So we're going to start off in that single leg stretch. We'll pull left leg into the chest, right leg out nice and long. We have three, two, and one. We'll exhale, switch the legs. Inhale, exhale, switch. Good. Switch, switch switch, switch. The series of five is such a fun core workout to do. And honestly, one time through is more than enough, but I told you guys we were going to do 10 minute core workouts and I am going to deliver. Good. This is going to be kind of similar to, uh, the 10 minute core workout that we did last month where we kind of played off of the series of five, except now we're just doing it two times through. Good. If at any point you want to drop your head down to the mat, totally fine with me. Go ahead and drop it down. I want you to make this workout work for you. Yeah, it's just 10 minutes, but it's really, it, I mean, it's challenging, right? I'm not letting you get off easy with the easy core exercises. We're going to take it right into a double leg stretch. We have three, two, and one, hug your knees in nice and tight, reach your hands to the outsides of your ankles. We're gonna inhale, open the legs up, open the arms back. Exhale, circle the arms out and around, reach for the outsides of the ankles. I'm gonna drop my head down to the mat because that is honestly just how I need to take double leg stretch today. But if you've got it in you, you keep your head up, you keep your chin tucked to your chest, hold in that nice high crunch. For me, it's just not gonna happen right now. <laughs> That's okay, maybe on round two we'll get it. Now as you kick the legs out, you really only have to go to about a 45. If you can go lower than that and still stay stable in your hips, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. All right, we're gonna head right into hamstring pull in just five, four, three, two, and one left leg up, right leg out. You can come up nice and high into a crunch. We'll exhale, switch the legs, inhale, and then exhale, switch. And just keep breathing through it for me. Sometimes the audible exhale is what helps the most, but honestly, talking to you guys is what helps me to get through this. Also, sorry if I sound like really nasally, I'm getting over a cold right now. So we're just working with what we've got, you know? Work never stops, the grind never stops. Good. Woo! Hamstring pull is my favorite out of these five. Okay, when you guys finish this workout, you tell me which is your favorite out of the series of five. Good. Okay, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Glue the legs together. You can stay up in a crunch. I'm gonna lower my head down. We're gonna inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, lift. Now for me, I can't lower my legs really further than this. It just gets to be a little bit too much on my back. So if you can, go lower, but still stay stable and supported in your hips, go for it. If you're up in that upper body crunch, that's going to help you to keep your low back and your hips pressing down. But obviously it makes it harder because you're up in a crunch. Okay. So just take this however you need to. I find this and crisscross are the ones that I hate the most. 
in this series. <laughs> like the first three, fine. The last two, horrible. And that's just how I feel. <laughs> I'm sure Joe Pilates would not approve of that and that's okay. Whew. All right, we're gonna take it right into crisscross in five, four, three, two, and one. Bend your knees, hands behind your head. We'll exhale, twist left elbow to right knee, shoot that left leg out nice and long, and then we twist right elbow to left knee. Switch and switch. Now you've got the opportunity to take it a little bit slower. That's cool with me. That's where I'm gonna go. I always like a slow and controlled pace. Some people might see that as lazy. I don't. I see it as, you know, mindful. I'm moving mindfully. Not moving slow because I don't want to do this. Okay, if you want to drop your head down, go ahead and drop it down. Just move through the legs. Fine with me. You're still going to get a lot of work right there. And you can even pick up the pace a little bit if you'd like. <sighs> Okay, we're taking it back to the top in about 10 seconds. We start back up in that single leg stretch in five, four, three, two, and one. We'll pull the left knee in, right leg out nice and long. We'll exhale, switch the legs. Inhale, and then exhale, switch. Drop your head down right away if you'd like to, just pull in. Just make sure you're pulling in from your core so it's not your legs that are initiating the movement. It's this pull in from the belly button. <sighs> And honestly, the forced exhale is really going to help you to dig a little bit deeper into your core, helps us to just feel connected, right? It's not going to make this movement any easier, <laughs> but it, it just, if you have a tough time activating your core, I really want you to focus on using that forced exhale every time. So in through the nose, out through the mouth, you can ah, the breath like that. You can shh the breath. You can do whatever you want. Good. We go right into double leg stretch in five, four, whoo, three, two, and one. Pull the knees in nice and tight. Reach your hands for the outsides of the ankles. You can come up into that crunch. We inhale, shoot the legs out, open the arms back. Exhale, circle out and around. Tuck knees to nose. Reach your hands for the ankles. Inhale, open out. Exhale, squeeze it in. Now, the first mi mistake that I made in filming this video is filming it directly after I filmed the first 10 minute core workout of Vlogmas. So my B. <laughs> the good thing is there's only three 10 minute core workouts. So am I gonna knock them all out today? Absolutely. <laughs> Will you see next week how tired I am? Oh yeah. <sighs> but you know what? We're doing it together and we're doing a great job. You guys are, you're, you're killing it. You are killing it. Okay, we got to do hamstring pull. My personal favorite in four, three, two, and one. Shoot the left leg up, reach up for the ankle, right leg out nice and long. You can come up into that crunch. We'll exhale, switch the legs. Inhale and then exhale, switch. Now, if you've got a little bit more in you, you're gonna do a double pulse of the legs. Pulse, 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 pulse. Just like that, you'll keep moving from there. And at this point, we're really going for endurance. So if you feel like you need to quit, just take a second. Like, it's okay, breathe, drink some water, get back in when you're ready. Good. But you know what? We are going to make it through together and you guys are stronger than me because you do my workouts, right? So you got it. We're just here for five, four, three, two, and one. Glue the legs together. I'm going to drop my head down. We do a double leg lower and left. So inhale, drop, exhale, lift. And it can seriously be that tiny, lower and lift, right? Because once you start to feel your low back lifting, right? If you get to this point and you can lift your whole low back off of the mat, you've gone too far. If this starts to become too much, you're gonna bend at the knees. You're gonna take a toe tap instead, and that's fine. Same kind of idea, just a little bit 
more nice on our core and our low back. If you want to come up into that crunch, you're going to do it. See, I wasted like 30 seconds just talking to you guys. I'm slick. I'm real slick. <laughs> We're almost there at the end. You're doing so, so good, you guys. We just have five, four, three, two, and one. Bend at the knees. Take your hands behind your head. We'll twist left elbow to right knee, right elbow to left knee. Twist and twist. Good. We'll twist and twist. If you want to pick up the pace, you go for it. I always like a slower pace <laughs> because then the time goes faster, right? Sometimes if you go too fast, you're like, oh my God, I feel like I've done a hundred reps. It's only been five seconds. Good. If you want to lower your head down, lower it down. Just move through the legs. That's where I'm going to go. Good. 15 seconds right here. And then we get a really big stretch. You are doing so good. This was really mean of me to do. <sighs> We have five, four, three, two, one. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a deep breath. You made it to the end. That was not easy. I feel so sweaty. <laughs> I feel so sweaty right now, and I'm sure you guys do too. When you're ready, we're going to rock and roll on up, and we'll bring ourselves into a tabletop position. Oh, my God, my mat is, like, slick. Hands down on your mat. Knees are going to go back. We'll inhale to dip the belly down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Let your belly button just pull, your, pull down to your mat. So you feel that nice big stretch. We'll exhale, press away, curving the spine, looking back to the tops of the legs. We'll do two more like that. Inhale, dip it down, open up the chest, draw the shoulder blades together. Exhale, press away, curve the spine, look back to the tops of your legs. One more. We inhale, dip it down. We'll exhale, press away. Good. With that last one, we'll sit hips all the way back to the heels. Reach the arms long in front of you. Big, deep breath, big inhale. Exhale, we'll let it all go. <sighs> Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and walk yourself back up to seated. You guys made it all the way to the end. Good, good work. That was amazing. You're awesome. You could do anything you put your mind to, and I will see you in our next video.